We are wrapping up August tree check month and if you haven't already, it might be worth a walk around the yard with your eyes open for harmful bugs. So to help us understand exactly what we're looking out for, Tom Bishore joins us. He's district manager with St. Louis Davey. Let's start with the emerald ash borer. We've all heard of them. Why are they so bad and how do we identify them? So the insect itself has caused billions of dollars worth of damage in in the area and they're in 35 states right now. So they are just causing a lot of destruction. It's killing a lot of the ash trees. We have a picture of them and it's the tiny, tiny green thing there on the far right side. I mean, so these are little guys and they yeah. do all that damage there on the left side. Yeah, they really are. So those things are about a half inch long and only about an eighth of an inch wide. Um, as you can see, that's the damage that they do underneath the uh, bark of the tree itself. They get up inside there and just interrupt the minerals that go up into the tree itself. So can you see anything on the outside of the bark? No, I, oh. yeah, 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 well, I'll take that back. You can see some D exit holes Okay. In that, and then you'll see them exiting the hole itself. Now, August is also when adult Asian longhorn beetles start to emerge. What are the trees that they target and what can we do about them? So basically they target your birch trees, your elm trees, your hard maple trees. And when they b bore into the tree, that it's basically the size of a pencil. And when they come out, it's basically the size of a dime. Oh, okay. So they're black in color. They mm -hmm. have bl black spots. Um, and they're pretty destructive. I mean, there's been whole neighborhoods that have just been wiped out because there's just no good way to get rid of them. So the key thing is early detection. Okay, what about gypsy moths? I understand that August is when the females start laying hundreds of eggs. Yeah, so the gypsy moth is pretty destructive too. What they do is they will go through and they will eat all the new foliage off a tree itself okay. as it's emerging new leaves. And then what they do is they become a nuisance on the property. So they just, these worms drop all over the place, over your oh. yard, your house, your, uh, your cars, patios, and they just become pretty destructive. So. And so we're seeing the picture of them as looking like the caterpillars, right? Sure. So is that when they're in the destructive stage? Yeah, that, well, that's what they're doing. It's they're eating the leaves, yes. Okay. Finally, let's talk about Japanese beetles. What plants are they targeting right now? So if you have roses, they love roses. Oh. So I mean, they love linden trees, they love cherry trees, they love crab apple trees. They're pretty destructive themselves too. So I mean, they're just, uh, they, they won't kill the tree, but what they'll do is they'll defoliate it and the tree will try to produce new leaves too. And then will it be ruined it. for next year or can it repair the itself? The tree can repair itself. So okay. the, the key thing on all that is just early detection. Try to get the pests under control before it has a chance to cause too much damage. So we talked about four different kinds of pests right there. Is there something that we can do to prevent all of them or does each one need its own treatment? I think the key thing is you got to get a certified arborist out there. Okay. Have them take a look at the property to make sure that you get early detection to get these insects under control because over time if you continue to let these insects continue to eat, they'll cause destruction and it could eventually kill your trees. All right, at least we know what we're looking for now. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. And if you need any help with the trees in your yard, you can find the experts at Davy.com.